Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm gonna show you how to mine Death Coin with your AMD cards, like the RX 470 and the RX 480. And why do I want to make this video for you guys? Well, you've been telling me that this coin has a really high potential and it seems to be that the price of this coin is like crazy high at this very moment and that you guys want to mine this. So I'm gonna make this video and show you how to mine this coin. So first of all, this miner is from dashminer.com and it has two servers. One is from San Francisco and one is from Amsterdam. But for this video tutorial, I assume that you have your own Dashcoin address already and you have your own wallet. So hopefully you have that and if you don't, I will have to make a video for that too. But please comment in the comments below if you do and let's continue on with the video. Okay, so I will put a link in the description below to download the Dash Miner. You'll have to extract it to your desktop and we can continue on with the next step. So what you have to do is just open the map and you will find a startminer.bat file inside it. Just as all my other miners, I already adjusted it to my needs. But you need to change it to your address and your needs, of course, because otherwise you're mining for me. And it's pretty simple, everything is set and done. The only thing you need to change is the AM. That means that I'm gonna mine with the Amsterdam server because it's the closest one to me. But if you're closer to San Francisco, you just have to type SF because that means you're gonna connect to the San Francisco server. Next up, you will have to edit your address into mine and it stops right before the underscore. So the GE is the final number of my long address. And of course, you need to name your miner and I just call it two, uh, two times Sapphire 478 gigabyte because that's what I'm gonna mine it with. And then if you want some email uh, things when your miner goes offline, you will have to put in your email over here. And the intensity is 21 and that's set for the RX 470s and RX 480s. Of course, you can try and tweak that a little bit, but I'm not really sure uh, what the best setting is. But 21 works totally fine for me and it seems to be working great. So after that, you just have to save it up and you're ready to run it. Okay, so now we're running the miner and as you can see, it's totally different than the usual interfaces of miners because on the dash miner, you will have to see your hash rate in percentages. They took the 290X as a base mark 100% and your card will be based on that in percentages. So the RX 470s are during between 100% and 110% each but of course I still have the Ethereum uh, clock speeds on my cards at the moment so it's performing 170% with both cards but you can see that you're mining when you see that it says accepted difficulty blah 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 the whole time and of course you want to check how much dash you're mining a day and also that's displayed on here it's already pre-calculated so that means with the price of today that would be two dollars a day with this uh, system with two rx 470s and of course we didn't count the electricity cost i'm not really sure what it is out of my head but if you really want to check your current hash rate you will have to go to the dashminer.com website and you will see two little uh, maps over here it says San Francisco and Amsterdam and the one you're mining on you will need to click on so I'm using Amsterdam and I'm gonna click on Amsterdam and you will see a little small input box where you need to paste your address into and then just hit OK and it will redirect you to the uh, mining thing where you can see how your miner is performing and of course I tried it out a few days ago already, but at that time Dash was like $40, but today it's $100. So I'm not really sure if it's really that profitable. I still need to mine that myself, but currently I see a lot of potential in the Ethereum price being $40, but today it's even dropped to $34. So I'm still deciding on my own what to mine, Dashcoin or Ethereum. But hopefully this all worked out for you guys and it helped a lot to start mining Dashcoin. And if you still have questions, just put it in the comments below and I'll try to help you as fast as I can. See you guys in the next one.